Good afternoon. Uh, 3.55 p.m. My way home from classes today, that's done. It's 31 degrees now, and it just stopped snowing. It's cloudy as hell. Uh, here's something I don't get. Actually, intro first. So from Kent to Hudson's about 12 miles, 10, 12 miles. And uh, about half the time, I'll get behind somebody who goes 15, 20, 25 miles an hour on the back roads, which speed limit's 35. I usually go through there at about 50. Um, and there's 30 different turnoffs that they could get to. And we go to four-way intersections. And whenever I'm following somebody like that, at every single intersection, they take the exact turn that I have to take to get home. I have followed this Buick, who is actually now going at a different speed, decent speed, about 48 miles an hour here. Um, all the way from Kent, through probably 15 intersections and 10 traffic lights, they go the exact same way I'm going. Is, am I neighbors with the people that, oh, okay, and then they turn off here. So how do I get these people that I follow at 20 miles an hour the, the whole way? It's so frustrating. And then they slow down to like five miles an hour to go around the corner and cause me to use the other lane. It makes me absolutely irate. You do not need to slow your vehicle down to five miles an hour to make a 90 degree turn. The roads are actually dry. Air in your tires is cold. I understand handling is not ideal, and it is a Buick, and you're probably 90 years old for driving the Buick. But still, the car can handle it, trust me. Hey, I'm sorry it's been so long since I filmed anything. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh, Kenan came over for a little bit. We just hung out, chilled out in the office for a little bit. Um, worked on E39 Source business cards today. We had some with Tech and Form that I made probably two years ago. They were decent. It's always nice just to have something in my wallet. If I'm out, somebody needs to send me an email. They want my number instead of having to find something in a pen and write it down or if they don't have their phone or whatever, it's nice to have a card to just say, hey, here's my contact information and everything they need right there. So uh, now that E39 Source has kind of stolen the spotlight, at least for us from, uh, from Tech Inform, uh, it's been nice to go in and create a document that I think looks really nice. It's simplistic. It's elegant. It just has the information on there we need. I'll show you in a little bit. Um, I have an exam tomorrow in the Intro to Aeronautics class, so I'm going to pull open the uh, the PowerPoint documents uh, on here. There's two, and go through those. It should be pretty simple. Just talking rotary and combustion engines. A um, little bit of history to flying. It actually started 4,000 or yeah, like 4,000 BC or something. Sounds really bad there. It was a long time ago. It was Chinese. It was gunpowder. Then we had lighter than air balloons and that Montgolfier gas or whatever they called that, which they thought by having a fire and filling it with a balloon it created some sort of magic gas. They didn't know that um, hot air is lighter than cool air, thus would rise due to density and pressures and whatnot in the atmosphere. Um, dirigibles, zeppelins, it's all interesting stuff. I've just got to go through, brush up on everything for tomorrow's exam. That's the only class I have tomorrow. Good thing about exam day is you pretty much leave when you're finished. So that could be a 15 or 20 minute class. There's only 30 questions. It should be pretty good. Versus the standard hour and 15 minute class of lecture. So tomorrow will be short. Do a little bit of studying tonight. Get in there. Finish that up tomorrow. Thursday, last day of classes before break. The first class has been uh, canceled. The professor took a week. Uh, so we only have two. One will be a very boring lecture, which I will sit through and probably read emails through about a quarter of. Um, and then the last class, we also have an exam, probably no more than 30, 40, 50 questions. Uh, I will touch up on that tomorrow. It will be a little bit more work, but tonight, as I said, I'm going to do that. And uh, I will talk to you guys and show you the business card before I head up to bed in, in the hour. So. Yeah, I knew I screwed that up 4,000 years ago, 100 B.C. with gunpowder, 900 A.D., and rockets from China. Just to clarify. Oh, isn't that scrumptious? Hmm. Not too much longer. Anyways, uh, 235 now that got done. It really looks like it should be uh, fairly simple. Just a couple dates, December 17th, 1903 and whatnot. So I need to edit this together and uh, I'm going to sleep for a little bit. Don't have to be up early tomorrow, which is nice. Get that exam done. I've, I've rambled too much. Oh, I was going to show you the business card. I'll open that in Photoshop, turn off the layer of my phone number and show you in just a few seconds. Boom, friggin' writes, there we go, the phone number would usually be down here and square this off between these kind of uh, marginal borders we have around the edge. We've got M colors at the top, the shift knob logo I made a week or two ago. Name, position, vehicle, of course website, and um, email address there. 
name of the site down there and then below that if you can see it's not real evident in this color we decided to make that graphic of the front of an E39 using a keyboard uh, the color of the car so that's as close as I can get <coughs> the, this color here to match Silverstone metallic Colts is black Kennens is blue Bobby's is uh, is green so that's kind of a cool thing but my phone number layer is right there and off but uh, let me know what you think. I do have a couple printed out in here, but then they have my phone number on them, and most of you guys probably already have seen it leaked places before, but I don't need to go post it out there again. So that's what it looks like. Leave me some comments, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow on the 20th of March, 2013. Thanks for watching. Good night.